for geometry that's meant to be made as a sheet metal part or component. SolidWorks has its own sheet metal features. If we right click onto a tab in the command manager, we can choose the sheet metal tab. And we can go ahead and click on the sheet metal tab and that'll bring us into these various tools. This tab contains all of the sheet metal tools except for one. If you use swept flanges, which is generally atypical, but some customers do use swept flanges from time to time, you can come into the commands, choose sheet metal, and drag in the swept flange as well. To start out a sheet metal part, typically you're going to use the base flange tab and you'll create some sort of sketch to create this feature. You can also start a sheet metal component using the convert to sheet metal, lofted bends, or the swept flange option. I'll go ahead and create a quick sketch on the front plane. And I'll go ahead and come back into the sheet metal tab and choose the base flange tab. And this works similarly to an extrusion. It'll select the sketch, allow you to choose a distance. Similarly to an extrusion, we can take this up to a vertex, up to a surface, offset it from a surface, or create a mid plane extrusion. And then we have a direction too where we can do similar. The next option is to use a gauge table. So if you have a sheet metal gauge table of your own, you can upload it and choose your gauges directly from the table. Or you can choose one of the defaults that's included within SolidWorks. For example, if I choose this sample table aluminum, it'll give me parameters for different aluminum gauges. With the sheet metal parameters we also have the option of overriding the radius or choosing from the standards. We can also do this with the thickness. We can override the thickness and we can also turn off the use gauge table option and simply input the parameters manually. Then you'll want to input whatever K factor you're using for your manufacturing. Whether you're using a job shop or you're building this in-house, you'll want to set this up beforehand. For this part, the sheet metal component is going to be the same whether or not you change the K factor. It's once you actually look at the flat version of the sheet metal part that the dimensions will change. Once you exit out of that base flange tab, you'll notice that it's broken this into two different features, a sheet metal and a base flange. If I go back into the base flange now, you'll see it only has the dimensions and the parameters. And within the sheet metal feature, we have the K factor and our auto relief options as well as the option to use that gauge table. And these are separated out because these sheet metal parameters are going to apply to all of the features you add as long as you're working on the same body. And you'll have different dimensions for each base flange that you create. So you'll be able to modify those independently of those parameters. You'll notice that after we created this base flange that it created a cut list and this will create a new item for each body that you create within this sheet metal part. But that is the introduction to sheet metal and how to set up your parameters. I'll go into all of these features within subsequent videos in this section.